technology, making us independent again, making us... This is a political again, commercial scene in Wisconsin quality. produced by Academy Award winner Francis Ford Coppola for Jerry Brown. Coppola says he did it because he understands Brown and what he wants. I respond to ideas. And I, when I hear a guy say things that I agree with about what we ought to do with the country, then I get excited and I want to support him. And if I have a movie studio to support him with, then I'd use it. But the big event came here at the state capitol in Madison. Francis Ford Coppola presents Jerry Brown live. Coppola and other California backers came to town with a set, lights, cameras, a helicopter overhead with another camera. The man who made The Godfather and Apocalypse Now was the director. But when the broadcast started, it looked more like a political disaster film. First, Brown's mic didn't work. This country. There were two images of Brown, one on a big screen, the other a slim figure on stage giving what he called a speech of ideas. He is for a balanced budget, against the draft, for a civilian conservation corps, against the MX missile, for gas rationing. The speech was carried on nearly every television station in the state, but the method often overwhelmed the message, and the method was a mess filled with this kind of technical difficulty. Brown ended with the Pledge of Allegiance, but the polls indicate the voters don't have much allegiance to him. But later, Brown remained a true believer. I want to score an upset victory and then go on to Pennsylvania and continue uh, that upset victory and uh, move into contention with President Carter and go to the convention with enough delegates and enough national support to win the nomination. Today, Jerry Brown was on the move again, covering the state by plane, bus, and train in what he calls his existential quest.